What is up Karatex? In this video we'll be talking about this week's Trip 1 event week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for June 29th through July 5th, 2023. In terms of new content this week, a new dynamic event called Finders Keepers is available. Now, in regards to the drip feed cars, there are no new ones this week, and that's mainly because of the small amount of drip feed vehicles in this DLC. I'm estimating that we won't see any new drip feed cars until July 20th when the GTA Plus benefits change. But anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the Grotti Cheetah Classic. This vehicle is primarily based on the Ferrari Testarossa, mixed with the 328, and some other Ferraris as well and has a normal price of 865000 To get this car for free, you have to place top 3 in a Pursuit Series race for only 2 days in a row, which makes this one a lot easier to complete this week. Now in terms of performance, this car is in a Sports Classics class and is still one of the fastest on old gen in that class. However, on current gen, the HSW cars are a lot faster and the Cheetah Classic obviously does not currently offer HSW. But either way, the car still has great handling, customization, detail, and a nice interior as well. In terms of the test drive vehicles for this week, we have the ZR350, the Coquette D10, and the Neon as well. However, none of these are any removed website cars. And for current gen console users, we have the HSW Arbiter GT as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Continuing to the Casino Podium vehicle, we have the Dominator GTX. So this vehicle is primarily based on the custom Ford Mustang GTT modified by 0 to 60 designs. And it has a normal price of about 700000 In terms of performance, this car is in the muscle car class and has arguably the best handling in that class. However, it does lack straight line speed, plus it has the annoying slow handling flags and the taillights just really don't match the design all that well in my opinion. That's the biggest downfall of the design of this car. I really hope we get a newer Mustang inspired by the S650 in the future. That would be amazing. Continuing to the dealership cars for this week. For luxury autos we have the Thrax and the Vision. Moving on to Simeons we have the Karen Boar, the Z-Type, the Sovereign, the RE7B, and the Bullet as well. And all of these cars, except for the Karen Boar, are cars that were removed from the websites, so a decent variety here to choose from if you were looking to acquire any of these specific cars. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts, we have 50% off the Hangar Workshop Upgrade, so not the entire Hangar itself, just the Workshop Upgrade for it, kind of weird. Also we have 50% off the MOC, and the upgrades for it as well. So I'm not sure if this is Rockstar saying sorry about the MOC glitch from a couple weeks ago, but it's pretty ironic timing how we had that crazy MOC glitch and now Rockstar puts it half price a couple weeks later. Anyways, moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the ZR350. This car is in a sports class and has amazing styling and customization. Absolute A plus in that department for sure. But obviously it's not going to be competing in any sports car race, it's not even close. It's one of the slower ones in that class. Next up we have 30% off the Vision. So this car is in the supercar class and has incredible styling. I truly think it's one of the best looking supercars in the game. And it has decent performance being around top 20 in the class, around the pace of cars like the T20 and these in Torno as well. Continuing to the Warstock website, we have 30% off the weaponized Ignis. However, remember that this car is exclusive to current gen, so if you're on old gen, obviously you're not going to see this car on Warstock. But anyways, it's one of the fastest cars of a supercar class with the HSW upgrade equipped, and it's also usable with missions as well, which with the speed this car has and that gun on top, it's actually pretty useful. Next up, we have 40% off the Menacer. So this one has the gun turret on top and a good amount of armor as well, taking 23 homing missiles to blow up, which is great. But the Night Shark and the Insurgent take 27 homing missiles to blow up and are a lot cheaper. So I mean, it's, it's a good discount, but I just don't think there's any reason to own it when there's better options out there that are cheaper. 
Continuing, we have 50% off, so half price on the Hunter. So this heli has barrage missiles, homing missiles, countermeasures, the ability to drop bombs, and on top of everything, if you have a co-pilot on board, they can shoot the explosive turret. So <laughs> overall, a really good heli. It's one of the best in the game in terms of combat, and honestly, a really good deal at this price. And lastly, we have 40% off the Starling. So this plane has that insane rocket boost upgrade function, and it's just a ton of fun to fly with that. It also has the homing missiles upgrade, countermeasures, and bombs as well. Also a great deal on this plane at this price. Continuing to triple money, we have triple money NRP on business battles. Also beer hats, special items, etc. are back as possible prizes in these business battles this week. And for double money, we have double money NRP on the versus mission Air Force Zero. And lastly, the best one, we have double money NRP on the hangar crate sales this week, which is actually really good. So for those of you who remember, last summer, Rockstar permanently tripled the payout on hangar crates. And when you consider it's double this week on top of that, it is definitely a lot more worth it now. Now continuing to unlocks that are going to last until July 12th, if you own the Operations Terminal and the Thruster Upgrade for the Avenger, you'll be given the Hinterland Bomber Jacket this week. If you sell 500,000 worth of hangar crates, you'll get the LS Pounders Hat. If you complete all six Project Overthrow missions, you'll get the Blue and Green Camo Livery for the Avenger. And lastly, if you complete three of the new Avenger LSA missions, you'll get the conveyor livery for the Molotov. And lastly, for the time trials, this week's normal time trial is Cypress Flats. I highly recommend a car with a high top speed or a quick bike for that one. For the premium race this week, we have the supercar race taking off. I highly recommend the Emirates, Krieger, LM87, or the Vest 8 for that race. And if you're on current gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Weaponized Ignis or the HSW to Vest 8. And lastly, for current gen console users, the HSW time trial is Sandy Shores. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag were the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Hunter. It's literally half price this week, and considering all the weapons it has, I think it's an insanely good deal on this helicopter. Anyways guys, overall this event week is actually pretty good with a nice balance of vehicles on sale. The only thing I wish was better was the variety of bonus money opportunities. The hangar crates are great, but a couple more bonuses for a better variety would have made it a lot better of an event week. But again, regardless, still a pretty good event week all things considering, a lot better than last week for sure. But anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.